My name is John Newell. I was uh, born in England a long time ago, and uh, I'm an actor, and I now live in Canada, where I've been for about 34 years, I suppose. My idea of perfect happiness is to do what we do every winter, and we go to Mexico, where we have a little house. My greatest fear is being out of work and being out of work for some time so that one is frightened that one's never going to work again. Michael Bentall, who I worked for for six years at the London Old Vic, where we did nothing but Shakespeare, he was a fine director, wonderful director, and he looked after me, he took care of me, and he died far too young because he worked too hard. It was tragic, really. I loved him. The characteristic I dislike most in myself, I think, is making a decision that I know is important, and because it's important, I'm scared of it. Jealousy. That's the thing I hate most in other people, is jealousy when it's very often unnecessary, totally unnecessary. If I think I'm excessive about getting a role right, then it takes some time, of course. You, you get frightened that you're not going to reach that. But, you know, mostly one does, because one works hard. I think the most overrated virtue, particularly in other people, is self-satisfaction. We know, most of us know, that we can always do better. But there are people who think they've done quite fine without marching on and creating something even better than they've got already. I'm very happy because I, I like to live where I am. I think uh, that this country is the most wonderful country in the world, and this, this city is, is pretty good to be in too. I love Tor Toronto, and I love Ontario, I love Canada. I think Canada is a great country, and I'm very, very happy to be in it. I think what challenges me the most is when I'm directing, which I, I don't find that an easy job to do. I love doing it because I know quite a lot about acting at this stage, but it's, um, it's something that is it's not easy to do, and it's wonderful when you get it right. In the past is being out of work. But I was lucky enough to be out of work very, very rarely. And now being out of work is like a nice holiday for me. Well, I think uh, because of all the years I've worked, my voice, because my voice is very flexible and I can uh, produce perhaps more notes in my voice than an ordinary actor can, who's just done perhaps comedies. And I've done such a vast variety of, of work that I think my voice is, because I can, I can use it and not overuse it. Since you asked the question, I've been thinking for some minutes and I shouldn't have taken very long to think about it because I have to say my wife. And it's not a possession, it's something that I'm very lucky to have. My ambition from a really very early age was to be an actor. And uh, I, was in, I was enabled to do that quite early by the, by the mentors that I had were so helpful and wonderful for me. And I wouldn't be the same man if I hadn't got those mentors. They were very important to me. I think without doubt, when I look back, my greatest achievement was doing all the plays of Shakespeare in six years. It was a wonderful experience, of course, but it was my training. I came out of that and I could do all kinds of things. It was really good training. The first thing I was asked to do when I'd finished those six years of Shakespeare, talking nicely, you know, was to play Alfie, to invent the role Alfie. And so I, the, the critics were sort of astonished at it. Well, this guy is a classical actor. What's going on here? They didn't know that I grew up with a Cockney accent. 
and had to get rid of it. <laughs> when I, I left England, people kept saying to me, you know, you would have been knighted if you'd stayed. And I don't particularly want to be a knight. What I would love is to, be, um, to, be, to get the Order of Canada. That would make me enormously proud. I would like very much to be accomplished in Spanish because I'm very fond of an author called Lorca, Spanish playwright and poet, and I'm dying at some point to direct The Blood Wedding, which is an incredible play and hasn't been done for years in this country or probably even in England, but I just want to do that. If it, if it wasn't being a musician, I would like to be a gardener. It's productive and you see God growing things. I would hate to be a politician. It seems to me that very often, and I know it's not every one of them, of course, they lie. I don't like lying. I think of all the sounds, the, the piano must be my favorite. I love the, the hearing the piano played really well. It's so lovely. I think a favorite is delight. Because it's when you, when you see something you really love, like a good player or a piece of music, delight. Well, there are politicians that, that I dislike because I'm, I'm not a right-wing person. I, there are politicians that I dislike. And of all in the world, he lives, he's the one who lives in America, who seems to be brainless, and clueless and without care, without care of people who are dying for him. I don't like it. I think I'm okay, I'm, I'm sad as I had I've had a great career, even if I don't do anything else. But I'm, what I want to do now is to direct things that I really want to direct, which I think I can direct. I'm not saying I can direct every play, but there are things that I want to direct, that I know are difficult to direct. My motto is really based on the words, I try very hard to be truthful. And you have to do that when you're directing young people, because they can sense lies so easily. Try to be truthful. I'm glad about that. Because I was after you, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't didn't film that, did you? <laughs>